was Magnum PI's first name? Was his name Magnum? What if Magnum's his first and his last? Like Magnum Magnum. Magnum squared. Magnum J Magnum. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the dork side. That is right, come to the dork side, we have cookies. So, thank you for joining me today. We are going on a ride, obviously. You can tell because I'm sitting on a motorcycle. Uh, and I thought today we'd ride out to a local landmark, a uh, local covered bridge, the Hoffman Bridge. It's pretty old, uh, you know, you'll, I'll remember eventually what year it was built, but 18 something for sure. Oh, I had my turn signal on that whole time, how impressive. And uh, pretty cool scenery along the way, some sketchy weird back roads, so thought it might make a good backdrop as we ride. So I have a very, shall we say, controversial topic I'd like to discuss with you today. Uh, in the nerd circles where I am proud to say that I run, uh, there's a sort of very uh, commonly held uh, belief, really an assumption, really it's a foregone conclusion, that's the phrase I was looking for, that when talking about Star Wars films, there is one film that is far and away superior to all the others. And right now in your head, you're going, yeah, of course there is. It's Empire Strikes Back. Everyone knows that. Uh, and, you know, and I think Empire Strikes Back is an excellent film. I love it. But uh, it is not my favorite Star Wars film of all time. I know, terrifying, right? I'm some kind of... I should lose my nerd license for sure. What's up, buddy? Because of this belief. So I've seen Empire Strikes Back... God knows how many times. Like, I used to watch it once or twice a week during the summer because Home Alone, there was nothing else to do. We lived in a tiny town called Sisters. There's 800 people. You know, I ride your bike around the block so many times. So I've seen Empire a lot. So if Empire is not my favorite movie, it may not be because Empire is not the best movie. It could be that I'm just... My view is askew because I've seen it so many times. But either way... Let's talk about the movie that I think is the best. What's up, buddy? Uh, and that is The Phantom Menace. I think The Phantom Menace, I'm just kidding. Please, God, no. If that was the truth, I would really hope you would just turn off this video and uh, set your computer on fire. Because, oh my God, no, thank you. Jar Jar Binks shall not come anywhere near anything that I ever do. Uh, my favorite Star Wars movie of all time is Return of the Jedi. Does that surprise you? I think, I mean, honestly, is that, I, I hope it's like in people's top three anyway. Um, but I know it gets a lot of hate. People hate on Return of the Jedi because of the Ewoks. And I have to wonder if objectively, if that film came out today, and if, or there were, yeah, and I'd never heard of, a, of an Ewok, which is a word that's never said in that film, by the way. They're just stupid teddy bears. Um, if I had never heard of an Ewok and then the movie came out, a Star Wars movie with teddy bears throwing spears at stormtroopers, would I like it? I don't know. But as a kid, it didn't seem weird to me. It didn't seem like that was out of the ordinary or stupid. Um, I just sort of believed it. So, again, bias, you got to consider the cultural zeitgeist. That's not even the right word. The circumstances surrounding this opinion. One, I watched Empire a lot. And two, I was young when Jedi came out. And so uh, it didn't occur to me that teddy bears throwing spears at dudes in armor with blaster rifles was stupid. I love epic sweeping space battles between giant ships and, and fighters and all of that. So uh, that's why episode three is my favorite of the prequels because that opening, the Battle of Coruscant, is cool. I wish there was more to it. I think it's, it, honestly, it's a little too focused on Anakin and Obi-Wan. And so I want to see more of the larger battle, but that's neither here nor there. Also, I really liked the Battle of Scarif in Rogue One for sure. But Empire, or sorry, Jedi has... The final battle with the Death Star. Uh, it's got, you know, capital ships shooting at each other. It's got fighters, you know, zooming in and out of capital ships and up and down around the Death Star. And it's got the superstructure run, which, okay, is not that different from the trench run in A New Hope. I'm not an idiot. I recognize that. But 
it is still cool and you get it's also cool to get to see Han Solo doing his thing on the ground and also get to see the Millennium Falcon kicking some ass in the sky even if he did have to loan it to Lando and nine uh, but you know which you know the best line I think in all of Star Wars is a tea gotta love those Celestians anyway <laughs> oh I'm funny Nothing funnier than saying you're funny. I love the end, the Battle of Endor. I think it's sweet as hell. I love it. And so that is my favorite 20 minutes or whatever in all of Star Wars. I could watch it over and over and over again. Now the lightsaber battle with Luke and Vader, that's cool, but in my mind, it's mostly just Luke hiding in a corner and they're playing hide and go seek. So um, my favorite part of that scene is all the shit the Emperor says to him, like, you want this? Your overconfidence is your weakness. Sorry, Luke says your overconfidence is your weakness, and the Emperor goes, Your faith in your friends is yours. I'm sure I'm slightly misquoting that, but you know what I'm talking about. That whole scene is just a long, boring conversation, and your fleet is lost, your friends are lost, you know, all of that shit. Um, but the space battle is sweet. It, I can get into the Ewok stuff going down just because Chewbacca, Tarzan swinging onto the top of an ATAT -AT and then taking it over and blasting the shit out of everyone is pretty awesome. Um, I like to think of it as the Rebels succeeding in spite of the Ewok's help, not because of it. But I guess even tiny Ewoks, if you send enough of them at an overwhelming enemy, they will eventually overwhelm them. It's They're just cannon fodder, so whatever. There's only one who dies though, right, that you see? Anyway, so I like I like the indoor stuff doesn't bother me. I love the space battle, and frankly, if I'm being honest, I think a big part of why I love that movie the most is because the rebels win. And for you know 30 years, that was what that was the story in my mind. The rebels won. That was the moment when they won. Big evil defeated, and that's sweet. Now the Force Awakens has neglated, negated, not neglated, negated a bunch of that, and that's unfortunate because. Well, it, it sort of makes all that an empty victory, but whatever. What is up with this mobile home over here? Does that seem safe to you? Seems a little crooked. Um, I'm not an expert in foundation building, but should it be listing to the side like the Titanic? Does that look like a new house to you? It's kind of sketchy. The word I would use is sketchy. Okay, this is, this is interesting. So people live in there. There's a blanket on the window. Um, yeah, nothing weird about that. So there's also a lot of quality engineering and I think really well-maintained buildings like over here. Man, what a, what a quality structure. It's kind of ironic because right around the corner is a bridge that stood for 150 years. Uh, that looks like the day it was built. And then there's this thing, which is some sort of feed shack animal shelter that is, should be condemned. It looks like it's being swallowed by the earth like the worms from Tremors are running around underneath it or some shit. Another motorcycle, hell yeah. What a day. Last time I was here, there was a chicken in the road, like trying to attack me. There's some goats. Look at the chicken. Yes, right. Does anyone else hear a banjo? No, just me? Okay. Oh, well there's people here. Well that sucks, I wanted to get out and walk around. So this is the Hoffman Bridge. Oregon's pretty cool, unique in that it has a bunch of bridges like this. Uh, there's like seven within 30 miles of my hometown that you can check out. This one is unique because instead of having open sides like most traditional bridges, it just has a couple huge gothic windows. So that's pretty sweet. I don't I have no idea what these people are doing. Are they, are they setting it on fire? Is that what's happening? Sketcheroni, sketcheroni. They're just walking around checking it out. Well, that's wonderful. Maybe we'll swing back by and get some better shots. What's this lady carrying? Oh, it's juice. Interesting. How's it going? Oh, this is the bridge. I'm gonna get some tunnel exhaust. Oh, it sounds cool. See, these windows are sweet, right? This is the old, the good old Hoffman Bridge. So anyway, for my money, uh, Jedi is, is my favorite Star Wars movie. If I have two hours to kill and I desperately want to watch a Star Wars film, I'm probably gonna put Jedi in. It's got everything I like. It's got Han Solo doing Han Solo shit. Uh, Han Solo's my fave. It's got a sweet, the space battle though, like I said, makes it. It really is, it's a lot better written than anything we got in the prequels with Anakin. You're softer than sand, bad me. No thanks, that's um, terrifying. That guy should, she should get a restraining order, not marry the guy. That was the best acting Natalie Portman has ever done. They should have given her an Oscar for pretending to be into that shit. So Empire's probably my second favorite Star Wars movie, but Jedi. It's all about Jedi, as far as I'm concerned. 
that movie is bueno. Muy bueno. Muy, muy bueno. The nerd collective consciousness, that's the word I was looking for, that's two words, uh, is gonna disagree with me. And so, if Jedi is your favorite movie, and that makes sense, or sorry, Jedi, if Empire is your favorite movie, I'd love to hear why, and in particular, why you think it's better than, than Jedi. Uh, or if Jedi is your favorite, I'd love to hear from you as well because it's an unpopular opinion that I've had to hide for many, many years. <laughs> I had to hide my secret shame. All right, ladies and gentlemen, well, I think that's going to go ahead and do it for this here adventure. So I hope you enjoyed our conversation about Jedi versus Empire. And please don't, for don't forget to comment below if you think I'm wrong or if you think I'm right. I'd really love to people hear from people that think that Jedi is the best movie because I know I can't be the only person out there. And if you're afraid to admit it for so long, if you've harbored this secret for years like I have please join me in solidarity we can start a support group for people that like like Jedi better than Empire we, you're not alone okay reach out I'm here for you I'm here for you okay so please let me know in the comments and again thank you for watching if you're interested or you know if you like what's going on and you want to hear more of my nerdy ramblings and watch me freeze myself to death on top of a motorcycle Please feel free to subscribe, like this video if you loved it, and ladies and gentlemen, until I see you again, please remember to be excellent to each other. Thank you.